After resuming full-time van life and spending some time hiking and eating delicious foods in New Mexico and Utah, we have made our way north to Idaho. Idaho's nickname is the Gem State, and with gorgeous mountains, rivers, canyons, tons of waterfalls, hot springs, and so much more, we think it's such an underrated gem. And for the next week, we're going to try to explore as much of this beautiful state as we can, and we can't wait to bring you along with us. Welcome to Idaho. We're kicking off our time in Idaho in the southern part of the state, which is more of a high desert climate. It's known for having tons of waterfalls and canyons. We drove through the area about a year ago when we were moving into our van and we have been so excited to come back. There was so much we did not get to do last time and so we're very excited to spend two full days here and we're kicking off this morning at Box Canyon State Park. This place is crazy. If you didn't know it was here, you would have no idea. <laughs> we just were driving on this farmland and all of a sudden there's like this little dirt gravel parking lot and there's a sign that says Box Canyon. We got out, we paid $5, but there were no like envelopes to put the $5 in. So we just wrote a note. It was super <laughs> casual. And then we drove to the second parking lot, which was closer to where like the actual trail begins. Yeah, you park, you get out, you walk up to the overlook and bam, it's this huge, beautiful canyon gorge with water running through it's it. It's clear water. It's like magical. You seriously would have no idea this was here. It just, it took our breath away. Yeah. Oh man, we're so excited. So <laughs> we're now in the canyon and we're trying to get to this waterfall that's somewhere close by we think, because yeah, this area like we said is known for waterfalls and this is going to be our first of many. <laughs> This thing is crazy! Don't be fooled if you read about the waterfall on the internet somewhere and you see that it's only a 20 foot waterfall. You might think it's dinky, but you'll be wrong. It's, it's mighty and powerful. It's absolutely beautiful. So the spring here at Box Canyon is actually the 11th largest spring in all of North America, which is wild. And this is one of the seven parks that makes up the Thousand Springs State Park System. So we're visiting this one today and we're gonna visit two more of them tomorrow. The trail down to the waterfall can be a little sketchy and a little tight with the overgrown bushes and it'll probably only take you about 10 to 12 minutes to get down there and we think you can keep going to check out more of the springs but we're about to get up close and personal with a different spring. Alright, see you later. <laughs> I'm in and I didn't flip. <laughs> in case you can't tell, we're going kayaking. Woo! <laughs> so we're kayaking to the spot called Blue Heart Springs. And if it looks anything like it looks in the photos and videos we've seen online, it's going to be absolutely amazing. It's this super bright blue water. It looks like it, I don't even know, it looks like it belongs somewhere in like the Caribbean or something. It just looks so beautiful. It's about a mile to get to it and it should take us about an hour to paddle out there. And we're gonna be paddling along the Snake River. We're kind of by a canyon. Oh man, this should be awesome. <laughs> What a day too. Yeah. The weather since we've been here is so awesome. It gets like in the 40s at night and then during the day it's like 70s. Actually the first day we got here it was kind of cloudy. But man, it's perfect today. Ooh boy. We're almost 
there. Gorgeous, absolutely magical. It is crazy. You're, when you're kayaking along the Snake River, it's kind of this like milky green color. Then as you're getting closer on the right side, it starts to turn this like blue, really cool blue color. And then all of a sudden you just pop into this little like cove nook and it's just like the deepest greens. Like it looks neon green right here. And then over there it looks aqua blue. It's, oh my gosh. It's just so clear and beautiful water, man. Oh, it's so peaceful so, in here too. So pretty. Yeah. yeah, when we got here, there were some people here, but now everyone's left. So it's just us. So we're just sitting here just enjoying the view. I don't know if the camera is going to do it justice because the colors are just so vivid, but we're hoping that the drone will do it justice. Yeah. But <laughs> this is just really, really pretty. It's awesome. The green kind of looks like someone melted one of the green Jolly Ranchers. And then the blue looks like one of the lakes in Canada. Who yeah. knew that this was in Idaho? This is crazy. This water is freaking cold. <laughs> we thought about getting in before we came here. That's not happening. <laughs> Back you go. We made it back and we wanted to give a huge shout out to Banbury Hot Springs for hooking us up with a kayak. That was so much fun and we highly recommend doing this if you are in Southern Idaho. We got a good workout in, muscles are feeling a little sore and we've also worked up quite an appetite for some ice cream. <laughs> I think they saw us with the camera and the lady who runs the place and owns it. They're gonna take us in the back and show us how they make everything, I guess. <laughs> this is awesome. <laughs> we just wanted ice cream, but this is even better. We <laughs> start with the raw tank over there. That's our, our milk from our farm. That has a uh, measuring stick in it. We can decide how many pounds of whichever kind of milk we're doing. Skim, 2%, whole, half and half cream, chocolate milk. We blend up our chocolate milk in the tank, everything like that. That's our vat pasteurizer that we do our ice cream base mix in. So that's got the milk, the cream, the sugar, the powders, everything that goes into making ice cream. See, we started over in, in 2007 and remodeled it, uh, got some of the old equipment up and going, added in some new stuff, and uh, brought everything up to code and, and started running as Cloverly Creamery in the fall of 07. So we've been doing this ever since. So. Well, that ice cream experience went from, we were just excited about ice cream to one of the coolest experiences yeah. we've had in a long time. Probably up there with, uh, when we went to the North Carolina barbecue tour yeah. we did. And we got the behind the scenes. Yeah, that was incredible. Yeah. Thank you so much to everyone at Cloverleaf Creamery for showing us around and being so nice so and nice welcoming. And, yeah. and Oh my gosh. On me. Yeah, the ice cream's starting to melt a bit. Yeah. So we'll quickly tell you what we got. Yeah. We got, we both got cowboy, well, so we got two scoops but then you split them. So we really got like four scoops. Yeah. <laughs> um, so we got the Cowboy Crunch, which is like buttercream ice cream. I wish I had the list up right now. It's know. like buttercream ice cream. There's Heath Bar. Heath in it. Bar, um, maybe some caramel and chocolate. Oh no, I'm having a mess right now. <laughs> um, but it sounds really good. I got salted caramel and then I also got pralines and cream. And yeah. I got like two of the Cowboy Crunch because it sounded the, the best. I got salted caramel, Cowboy Crunch, strawberry, and elk tracks I think mm. which is kind of like moose tracks but I think they call it elk tracks oh, man. Are you already digging I it? had one I had one bite I don't even know what flavor it was and it was so good strawberries legit this is like a true creamery like mm. creamery they make everything here the milk and then the ice cream as well oh, so, so cool good. he recommended going with like the, the simpler flavors you know to get the creaminess and the true flavor of it mm. I don't know what flavors I'm really eating but they just <laughs> They're mixing they together. go the ones I got go so well together. Oh, it's a really good combination. Oh, shoot. <laughs> All right, I think we're gonna put the camera down so we can devour this and not make a huge mess. You know, we've kept saying we're in Southern Idaho, but we haven't actually told you much about the area that we're in, so we decided we would show you on the map. So this is the wonderful state of Idaho, and like we said, we're in the southern part of the state, so we are down here. And to give you some reference, Boise, which is 
what we believe I think is the largest city in Idaho is just right up here northwest of where we are. So we've been hanging out mostly in this Twin Falls area, which is the closest larger city to where we've been. We spent some time this week working over there. And then this morning we started right here at Box Canyon and then we went to the Banbury Hot Springs to pick up our kayak. They look very close, but we actually had to drive like all the way around to get to it. And then we kayaked all the way up the Snake River to this little nook right here, the Blue Heart Springs. And then we came down here to Buell to get our ice cream at Cloverleaf Creamery. And we're now headed right over here to a cool little spot called Balanced Rock. Keeping with the theme of today's vlog, if you didn't specifically know to come to this place, you would have no idea it's here. It's just so crazy. You're just driving around the area and it's just regular old farmland. And then all of a sudden, there's a giant canyon in front of you and you find your place and bam, it's awesome. It's so wild, it's cool. This is Balanced Rock. You just park in the parking lot and then it's like a five minute maybe walk up to it. I'm gonna cheat a little bit on the stats, but it's over 48 feet tall. It's 40 tons. It's a wind carved rock that balances on a pedestal of only three feet by 17 inches. That's a huge mass on a tiny little thing. That's crazy. <laughs> activity of the day I am getting to play some golf so the last time we were here I saw this course from the bridge up there we're at Canyon Springs golf course it's only 30 bucks it's in this canyon it's a freaking deal it's a beautiful day I know many of you probably don't want to see me play 18 holes of golf so we'll do a really quick highlight reel hopefully including a hole-in-one I definitely don't mind joining Adam for golf when the views look like this this is sick Ace cam is live. Good as new. Adam, do you want to tell the vlog your score? No, it's too embarrassing. <laughs> Golf was awesome. Today was awesome. It was actually a gem of a first mm -hmm. day of Idaho. <laughs> and we're sorry if we were a broken record about the adjectives describing everything, but everything was just awesome <laughs> <laughs> yeah it was just beautiful cool crazy wild yeah. epic like every word we could think of it we probably said so we're sorry if we weren't very creative we'll work on some better words for tomorrow mm. but we honestly were just speechless the whole day everything just blew our minds the scenery here is incredible yeah. and oh man it was so much fun but it's been a very very long day yeah. so we're gonna have a quick dinner and then we're gonna head to bed because we're getting up early to have more epic adventures in idaho tomorrow yeah.